This is the news leader, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Well, there are some things women won't talk about. Including certain health conditions. We'll have some help for one embarrassing problem that affects women of all ages. That's next. Welcome back. A recent survey about secret keeping reveals that women are keeping mum when it comes to embarrassing health conditions. This is important. In leading the list of embarrassing conditions women don't want to talk about is stress urinary incontinence. And joining us now to tell us more is Dr. Dr. Lori Romanzi. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you. Embarrassing, but I like to talk about everything. So let's talk about this. This is called stress urinary incontinence. That's correct. And this is women who have a real problem uh, getting to the bathroom in time. Let's just say that. That's true. They have a problem getting to the bathroom in time because the urethra is weak and it doesn't stay closed. And so there's a tendency to leak with coughing, sneezing, exercising, lifting, playing tennis, you name it. And this happens to women of all different ages. All Explain ages. a little bit. You say that the muscle actually gets tired and wears out different levels during our lives? That's right. That's okay. right. There's a muscle that helps keep the urethra closed. And in many women that doesn't last a lifetime. In fact, there's some interesting data in college athletes that's shown that even women who are young, very fit, report stress incontinence during their uh, college physical activity of choice, be it running, gymnastics, even the swimmers reported some mm -hmm. degree of incontinence with their physical activity. So. And the thing is, women don't bring this up with their gynecologists, they don't talk to their doctors about it, and the good news is, you can do something about it. That's right, you can. It's very embarrassing. So women often wait years. I've had patients come in who've suffered for decades. It gets progressively worse with time, but there are very good ways to treat it, both okay. surgical and non-surgical. So surgically, you say that you can go in one day and two days later, you are completely back to the person you were maybe 15 years ago. Some women wait forever to yes. have this done. Yes. And it's, it's no stitches, nothing. Nope, no stitches. No okay. stitches that you can see. Minimally invasive. You come in in the morning, have your operation, go home in the afternoon. The gold standard operation for this is something called a TVT sling. There is TVT a one, TVT sling. sling. They okay. started this minimally invasive movement, and they have a very, very good technique, and it uh, mimics some of our older gold standard operations that were much more traumatic for the patient and required a much longer recuperation. And women don't know about this at all, but it really gives them their, their freedom back and their lives back. And it's completely normal that this muscle wears out over time. It's very, very common. I wouldn't say normal, but extremely common. Childbirth okay. can make it worse, but even just women who've never had children often develop this as they get older. Women in their 40s, 30s, 50s? 20s, 30s, 20s. 40s, 50s. I've seen women as young as 18 with stress incontinence, yes. Now, the procedure again, and people can remember this easily, they're seeing this on TV, right. TVT. TVT sling. Done. Explain a little bit about, the, about what happens. You said it's, the muscle's kind of like a hammock? The muscle creates a hammock-like uh, base for the urethra. And when that wears out, in a woman, there's not much there to support it. So when that muscle wears out and you cough or strain or do anything that involves physical exertion, if, particularly if the bladder is full, you may leak a bit. And okay. the weaker the urethra, the more you may leak per volume. Okay. So when they go in to repair it, what do they do? What does the doctor do to, to turn this around? It's a very small incision in the, in the vagina, and then mm -hmm. the tape is passed around the urethra, and there are two tiny puncture marks above the pubic bone, and then it's over. And how do women feel after this is done? A little sore for a few days, but they usually get back to work within two, three days. What about a week later when they don't have to worry about this again at all? Oh, they love it. They come back, they can exercise again, they're losing weight again, they're dancing, they're traveling, they're not worrying about travel, where the bathrooms are, bathroom mapping. So bottom line is talk to your doctor and you're not the only one. Exactly. Done. Dr. Ramondi, thanks so much for being oh, with thank us. Thank you. Thanks a lot.